I call this video? It's going to piss people off. It's, good. it's sometimes good to piss people. The video is going to be called S Why Science is Bullshit. Now, I'm actually not against science at all. I'm a hardcore truth seeker. I've got countless terabytes of PDF books. I've got more books than God. You can't even imagine how many books I've personally scanned in by hand. Sometimes working two flatbed scanners at the same time. Page after page after page, page after page. Now, obviously, I didn't scan in countless terabytes. But <laughs> I acquired uh, those other books, but I also have a lot of uh, books uh, here in my house. My house is basically a library, half library, half science lab, half uh, photography nut job place. Anyway, here's a nice book from 1887. This is not a reprint. This is the Elementary Treatise on Natural Ph uh, Philosophy by A. Deschanel. Now, typical of these types of books, you can actually see in here all sorts of experiments you could do yourself with, like, back in the time, about a dollar's worth of equipment. These, this was a book that actually made you think. See, there's actually, even though this book is from 1887, uh, reading something like this about pressure and uh, Mother Nature would actually teach people more about science than modern books. Well, this book's out of date, you know? I mean, this, this doesn't even... Yeah, you know, this doesn't even touch upon a lot of simplex electrical stuff. <laughs> you know, all it has to do, it, it has to help you think. One of the highest things is a natural philosophy, but you know what people don't really understand is that the scientific method, which goes back to Aristotle, and the person that taught Aristotle was Plato, and the person that Plato was instructed by, obviously, uh, Socrates, and before him, Pythagoras. Those people... If you're actually able to bring them to the future, meaning to today, you are to show them what passes as science today, they would absolutely, they would throw up out of both orifices, one in their pants and one, you know, out of their mouth. I mean, they would, they would vomit, uh, projectile vomit out of both orifices to think that that stuff is science. Now, there's a discovery, and then there's an explanation. A lot of people by a happenstance, discover things. And when someone discovers something, humanity in its vast ignorance and stupidity thinks, well, that person discovered it, that must have the explanation for it. And nothing could be further than the truth. To discover something, or uh, you know, find a new phenomena, like the uh, phenomena that actually was not discovered by him, it was discovered by J.J. J. Thompson. Um, old Einstein, gas tube, Greater the frequency, higher the power output. Einstein didn't discover that. It was discovered by J.J. Thompson. That is what Einstein won a Nobel Prize for. Photoelectric effect. Now, not only did Einstein not discover it, J.J. Thompson did. But his explanation for it... People think Einstein won a Nobel Prize for theory of relativity. Most of theory of relativity actually was stolen from Hanway Poincaré. You could find it in his writings. That explanation is the most insane, ludicrous nonsense imaginable. Modern science has its head up its head. Modern science, by the way, is atomism. You ever hear the word quantum? By the way, the term quantum was coined by a, a New Age uh, person that believed in summoning ghosts, and he was actually uh, trained as a psychologist, had uh, no formal training in natural sciences of uh, philosophy, I mean, natural sciences at all. So the actual term quantum, I forget the guy's name, he actually fell off a cliff while mountaineering, um, but he's the person that actually coined the term quantum. Modern science has no connection to reality. Now, here's a letter, and I'll give you the link below. Peter Lindemann was an uh, experimenter. He's still alive. He's retiring now because he's old. But he's a uh, strong, hardcore adept of uh, not only of Dollard, but uh, Tesla, Faraday, Steinmetz, uh, Heaviside, James Clerk Maxwell. The people that gave you 100% of the electrical grid, all those people that lived into near uh, proximity to modernity like Tesla, and a heavy side, they all denied the bullshit of atomism. I mean, to them, the very notion that there was such a thing as a particle that carried a charge was an absolute insanity. An absolute insanity. Maxwell, Faraday, Steinmetz. Do you know who Steinmetz was? Charles Proteus Steinmetz? All these people that actually gave you the modern electrical world these people said that that stuff was absolute insane bullshit. 
So let me read a couple of things from you from uh, Peter Linderman, and this is his retirement letter, basically that's part of it. He said, what I discovered is that truth is only found in a philosophy, and he meant metaphysics. He said religion. He just doesn't know that religion is secularized metaphysics. He, if he was a little bit more intelligent, he would have actually said metaphysics. But not in science. In science, all that we can find are facts, and how those facts have been interpreted and reported throughout history. Correctly used, science is a formal method of inquiry. Science is not an intellectual model of reality, or even a worldview attempting to make it function. Science has a proper place in society, but its role for the real benefit is for the real benefit of science uh, is uh, quite limited. Here, philosophy is uh, far more important. Um, this is why, up until about 125 years ago, natural philosopher, which is what this book is, for example, by Deschanel, was the highest possible attainment in the field of science. Physics started at the study of the physical world, and uh, that was uh, the study of the behavior of nature, imitating nature, allowed technology to develop, understanding what nature was doing and how to mimic uh, nature, and that action with man-made means was the beginning of uh, invention. Ultimately, this led to a deeper study. Blah, blah, blah. Today's science is an empty shell of what it used to be and what uh, must once again become in a more enlightened future today's society uses science to serve people up as a commodity in the economy to be exploited um, whereas some future society will use science to serve humanity's needs and free the people's time for more creative pursuits this is true 99 percent of modern science is either trying to figure out uh, creative ways to fuck up the world meaning blow it up or like invent the latest uh, super nano ipod that you know, 10, 10 million people are going to want to take their hard-earned money and buy. Do you even realize what that means? Modern science is not in the quest of truth. It's in the quest of fucking money. Now, I understand that scientists have to get paid. They have to feed their, feed their families. But the entire Platonic and Aristotelian notion of a natural philosopher trying to understand the mechanics of a nature, which is a natural philosopher by definition, you know, that's what this book. This book is from 1887. There's more real science in this than any modern book. Well, now this is old, dated crap. I mean, this is from 1887. You can't find anything about. It. This is about investigating Mother Nature. There's people would be so illuminated by reading this old damn text that would blow your mind. If you could actually read the Natural Philosophy, none of you people can. I can guarantee you, as a, not a betting person, if I were to offer like a group of people a million dollars, I read the Parmenides of Plato, which actually predate Plato. I read the Timaeus of Plato. Why don't you report back what that means? I would love to have these people read like, there's no accurate translation that exists. There are four translations of Plotinus. They all absolutely suck. But if there was a good translation of Plotinus, I would ask people to read Plotinus. Their heads would unravel right off their neck. They would die. Or they would commit suicide in the pro They could never figure it out. That stuff is so deep, so abstruse, so complex. That's real, real, real science. Modern science is atomism. Modern science's goal is to invent, well, say, well, modern science is trying to cure cancer. Not really, it isn't. Well, sure there are. I mean, you know, a lot of people, dedicated scientists are out there trying to find a cure to cancer. No, they're trying to figure out a new drug to you know, stifle, and that, this is not a conspiracy theory, but modern science has no connection to the original denotation and connotation of science, a better humanity to try to understand things. A natural philosopher doesn't exist anymore, because there's no money in that shit. As a natural philosopher, you actually have to have it, you don't care about money, you just want to figure out, that's the way I am, I'm trying to figure out um, you know, the fundamental mechanics of the universe. I'm not trying to, you know, get paid doing this. I have come up with some interesting inventions, a couple of which I've not shown anybody. Um, this stuff doesn't exist anymore. Modern science is an absolute pile of shit. It's trying to invent a new way to, for everybody else to fucking destroy everybody. You're going to, you're a really smart guy. We're going to stick you in the... Lockheed Martin department, or maybe Northrop Grumman, and we're going to invent a new uh, smart bomb, that way we can kill more people, you know, because that's what science is about, is snuffing more bitches at 30,000 feet with a, a laser-guided, you know, that's not science. Well, technically it is. 
Uh, <laughs> or developing new nanotechnology. So we could stick a computer chip in our fucking brains. That way we could, while we're driving down the road, we could, like, blink our eyes and, like, surf shit on Amazon.com and spend money while we're actually... We'd be driving down the road spending money on shit we don't actually need. Talk about the fucking society of hum uh, consumerism. Is that the ultimate goal of science? No. Aristotle and Plato and Pythagoras and Plotinus, the people that laid the very foundation of all logical thinking and of science itself would be appalled and disgusted at what passes as science today. Right now, we've got billions and billions of dollars being dumped into CERN and particle accelerators in two different locations on Earth looking for magic unicorn particles. I mean, can you believe that shit? What are we doing? Well, we've we got a deep hole in the ground where a bunch of uh, overpaid scientists are looking for magic particles. Really? Kind of sounds like atomism to me. You know what the most important thing about physics is? It's the, the root of the word physics. Physical, meaning existential or empirical. Everything is fields, and fields are not particles. However, field theory falls under, at least it does concurrently, under a branch of science and physics. Now, I'd like to know how the fuck something which is not physical at all, in any way, shape, or form, falls under the branch of study which is supposed to be about studying physical things. Let me see here now. Let me see how that works. How does that shit work? We have a branch that studies things that are physical and empirical. Substantial. And uh, what falls under it, the most important thing, field theory, its branch of study is in something that has, it's, you know, there's nothing there. No one has ever defined a field, by the way. And trust me, I've got every book ever written on field theory. Every goddamn book ever written on field theory. Every one of them. These people are neither scientists, they're definitely not natural philosophers. You know? Talk about a society of corruption built, built upon lies and bullshit. Please give us a $2 billion grant so about 100 of us science, uh, scientists could go looking for the magical upleptone particle. You know, we, we know it's out there. We're going to look for it because, you know, if you fund us for the next five years, you know, then that means we got a guaranteed paycheck. We'll sit down there in the hole on our ground, you know. Oh, God. And that's, that's what's... I this society is so fucked up, it's not even funny. Everything that you think is science is an absolute bullshit atrocity from the premise of a hardcore Platonist. So what the hell does Platonism have to do with science? Because Platonism laid the groundwork for everything which today, unfortunately, passes under the guise of science. Natural philosophy and study of the mechanics and nature of the universe has no connection to modern-day science. Modern-day science is an absolute goddamn farce to keep academic assholes writing papers with a paycheck funded for X number of years into the future, and when the funding's about to run out, they come up with a new paper to look for something else that they need more funding for. Oh, my God, we know there's something new out there. Please. Was good. <sighs> yeah, just keep inventing new shit to kill other people. I invent some new shit to like, oh, we're going to come up with a new chemotherapy drug. Does it cure cancer? Well, it kind of cures cancer. What do you mean it kind of cures? Well, when you give this person this chemotherapy, what it'll do is it'll fucking kill them. And, you know, in so doing, it will also kill the cancer. Yeah, but you killed the patient also. Yeah, but the cancer is cured. Do you know how that works? That's actually how modern chemotherapy works. What we're going to do is we're going to apply chemotherapy to a person. Oh, okay. And it's going to cure cancer. Really? Yeah. You know, well, it will kill about 95% of the people that take it, but the 5% that make it through the other end, you know, <laughs> that's science. You know, even Chinese herbalists in the 16th century, if you were to tell them that, I said 16th century, they would go, I, I, I can't speak Chinese. They would go, what the fuck? <laughs> We're going to cure you, but in the process of curing you, we're going to kill you, you know. 
We did cure the cancer, but whoops, we killed you in the process. But we did cure the cancer. Modern science is a fucking joke. It's about inventing new shit to sell to people so they can spend their money. And in the process of doing that, you take some of that money and you create new shit to make people want. That's not science. That's not study of the natural world. That's not trying to unravel the mysteries of the universe. Those people are nothing other than fucking um, uh, retail salesmen wearing a lab coat, holding a beaker in one hand and a slide rule in the other. There's a lot of different ways people can sell shit to you. And that's one of the forms. Those people are not natural scientists. They're not natural philosophers. You know, they're not following any sort of Platonic or Aristotelian ideal of discovery. You know? Because I get asked that question all the time. What are the practical uses of this shit? Here's a practical use of knowing. Wisdom is its own fucking reward. Do people like that? I get asked that question once in a while. People say, well, you know, you discover this neat stuff on magnetism, but what sort of practical uses does it have? Well, it does have a lot of practical uses, but... What about this fact? Wisdom is its own reward. You knuckle-dragging antediluvium simian. Those people piss me off. They don't even understand that, like, actually knowing something that has not been known before. That's its own reward. That is the payment, goddammit. People like that are, 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 oh my god. I'm trying to think of somebody with a unibrow. Uh, uh. They, they really don't, that concept eludes them. It's like you do realize that knowing something is, that is if you have loftier intellectual pursuits. Knowing alone is its own reward. Oh my god, that totally escapes them. They have no idea what that means. Because that doesn't actually transfer into money, money, money. It's like, wow, but wisdom doesn't pay the bills or put food on the table. <sighs> People like that are subhumans. They're intellectually, they're mental midgets. So, thanks for watching. That was my rant against modern science, which is bullshit aimed at consumerism. It's not natural philosophy, and it's not science in the denotative platonic sense of science. But who cares, right? Some people do care.